What is good, y'all? Sierra Films here, and today we're back at it with another video. Before we do start today's video, I want to say shout out to Corey Centrals. This is their 1.5 inch EDC belt. You could use code Sierra Films 10 and get a 10% discount on your entire order. And they don't just offer EDC belts, they offer a bunch of different other belts. Uh, they offer leather, battle belts, duty belts. So go ahead and check them out. Save yourself 10%. Use code Sierra Films. So the items that I am reviewing with you guys today is Warrior Lens SL1 light to 150 lumens this is what i guess is a replica of the tlr6 for the non-rail blocks and the ma1 so this is something smaller something like the tlr7 and we're gonna go ahead and take them out of the boxes you know i'm not really a, a big unboxer guy i'm gonna just pull them right out throw them on there before i even show them to you guys and then show you guys how they look on there and then we can talk about what comes in these boxes so this is warrior lands sl1 flashlight and this is what completes with the TLR6 for the non-rail Glocks. I got this on my G43. And the thing that I do like about this over the TLR6 is that it has that strobe feature, it has that dim feature, and it is just overall brighter than the TLR6 in my opinion. I have I posted a, a short for you guys a couple weeks back and this was tremendously brighter than the TLR6. So I have voiced this before that the TLR6 is a little dim excited that the TLR6 HL is coming out too and they're bumping up the lumen to 300 lumens but this isn't bad it is a uh, roughly around $80 it did come with a holster I'll go ahead and show you guys the packaging right now so in the box it did come with its very own holster and honestly I'm not even gonna lie it's a pretty decent holster my G43 goes in here just fine comes with an allen key comes with a lens cloth to wipe it off it comes with two pairs two pairs of a uh, batteries so i've already ran the first one my tlr6 actually ran out and i threw those in there so it comes with two sets of batteries lens cloth not lens cloth well a cleaning cloth and a holster and i think that this for the price the price is roughly around 80 dollars. i believe you can't beat it but um me personally i think it's amazing but me personally i still i'm still rocking with the tlr6 uh, i'm not sponsored by streamlight or anything i'm just you know you got to pay for what you want to defend your life and your family's life with and I, I even though I've taken this to the range a couple times and it hasn't you know turned off on me it's still running and everything I still these these this brand is fairly new and I'm not sure if it can be a hundred percent reliable just yet the second item that we will be reviewing is the MA1 crossbow I do have this on my G19 while I get a Hollis and PID here soon but um this also has been nothing but great it has a dim mode as well and it strobes and this is what it has over the tlr6 is that where's the camera let me see oh there we go it has a laser on it so that is actually pretty cool i actually was at the range this weekend and we were running the laser from 25 yards and she was ringing steel i haven't made no adjustments to it or anything so that was pretty cool and it was it was like an overcast day so it wasn't too bright it wasn't too cloudy so i was able to see it there i'll be able to show you guys right now my little boy right here i'll show you guys how this uh, laser performs and how far you can see him but um yeah, this crossbow does feature a, hold on, let me change the setting. Oh, actually it was on. It does feature a digital LCD display of your battery life. You can see it there. It does say Warriorland as well and how much lumens it is outputting. I guess this is the only direct comparison that you can make this to is a TLR7, but I don't have a TLR7 to make that comparison, but this is a little more expensive. This is like $140 for the holster and the light. Not too sure how I feel. I think I'd rather just spend the money on on the TLR7. These are great lights, but like I said, they need they need a track record of being reliable. This has been reliable. This has actually ran about six, seven hundred rounds on this G19, and it hasn't. It still turns on, as y'all can see. It hasn't failed. Every time I pick it up and turn it on, it works. So I think it's good. But like I said, there just needs to be. They need to create a way bigger track record of reliability before people can start you know, trusting these with their life. Some people probably will, so they can afford it. That's what they'll go ahead and do. But me, personally, I'd rather buy once, cry once, and, you know, I'm not gonna cheap out on my life because that is essentially priceless. This also came with a holster, a magnetic charger, as y'all can see, and a bunch of different adapters. You could put it on different firearms. But uh, I have, I ran this holster before I took it to the gunsmith and got it Cerakoted in the black multi-cam. Haven't ran it yet because, you know, I, I my, it when I took it to the gunsmith, it turned from, a carry gun to a range toy so i don't want to mess up my slide anymore or anything like that so i haven't put it in this holster but before 
I put it in there, it was running actually really good. It was running way better than than We The People's holster whenever I put that on my G22, the TLR1. It was leaving no shavings like that whatsoever. Uh, Bravo Concealment also left shavings all over my firearm and this didn't do that. So I think it's a pretty decent holster and light carry. Y'all can go ahead and check them out. I mean, if y'all are on a budget, I recommend this 100%, uh, but not to bash. But my recommendation is if you have a little bit extra money, Go ahead and go the higher step and go stream light but this is actually pretty decent it's better than these solo fish lights that i'd be seeing out here or all these amazon specials that are really really cheap o light is another good one that i would say if you're just on a budget do it but if you if you can invest in if i'm being honest if you can invest in this in this or more ammo for training i would say invest in more ammo for training because that'll get you further because eventually these things if they're not 100 percent reliable like i said with these track records that they don't create they're not 100% reliable, they're eventually going to go out on you and you're gonna feel like you wasted your money. So just go ahead and get some training. But this is the MA1. Like I said, both good lights, both both uh, have performed well for me, but yeah, I'm a Streamlight guy. I'm not sponsored by Streamlight or anything, but I, I think Streamlight is the bare minimum before you go higher into those more expensive lights. So one thing that I have noticed on this actually, before I um, show you guys the distances and how you can see it in broad daylight, one thing that I have noticed that I'm pretty sure my boy Mighty Guns told me that it was from this digital display. When I go ahead and turn it on, I can hear ringing coming from the battery compartment. So um, yeah, I, I, I don't trust that. That usually means that something's gonna go boom. But, um, but yeah, um, let's go ahead and see how far this stretches out. I'm gonna use my driveway. We're gonna see if we can hit my boy Poncho right here with the green beam. We're gonna go ahead and see if it's visible on there. So we are at the end of my driveway. My driveway is roughly I would say maybe about 15, 20 yards. It's broad daylight. We got poncho set up in, in the sun over there. As you can see, this thing is really visible on there. Don't ask me why I'm shaking so much. I'm literally holding this with one hand, so don't get at me. But as you can see, we're there in the A zone on mini poncho. And she's visible. So that's one thing I do give to them is that this light is visible. Um, the other day when I was at the range, it was visible on the, on the yellow steel. So you'll have no issue seeing this on your target if it's relatively not that blurry or if it's daytime so you can see it's still on there and this was a light and laser combo this wasn't just a laser i think the laser illuminates a little larger whenever it's by itself but yeah man i hope you all enjoyed this video like subscribe um i could try to get y'all a promo code if y'all want for some of these lights uh i could hit a warrior line and then just let me know if that's what you guys want if not let me know the things that you guys want to see me review i do have some bear creek arsenal barrel reviews coming soon um some tyrant designs Reviews coming soon. Y'all know I love Tyrant. I run their mag whilst on my G19.4 and on my 43X. So we got something coming with Tyrant as well. Something real special I think you guys will like. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and peace.